Hey guys, it's Mick. Welcome back to more One Bit Heart Blind. In the last one, we finished Chapter 2's free time with hanging out with uh, Misato and Momori, I believe their names was. Their names were. Uh, the girl who was making a bunch of dolls and giving them souls, and the fashion designer. Uh, and both of those were quite enjoyable. And in this one, I guess we're starting Chapter 3, so let's talk to Misane. Have you finished? Yes, I have. I see. Then let's move on. Time to show you my bit phone data. Taking initiative this time, I see. It's efficient! Indeed. So. Or indeed so. Well, let's see here. Currently, your friend list has 26 entries. I must say I'm astonished. You befriended everyone in town you conceivably could, completely surpassing my expectations. As before, I've requested the townspeople's assistance, but few of them seem to know about the hackers, so simply endeavor to befriend them instead. Mm. Are you gonna tell me what's the goal of this friend-making thing already? Sorry. <laughs> Prompt! If I so much as thought about telling you, you'd be able to learn it without my permission. I wouldn't do that. I know you wouldn't like it, Masane-chan. Well, it's complicated. Mm. Oh, can I ask a little, about, a little about the future at least? Or can past people not know about the future? And vice versa. But you are not a she. I'll answer within a certain extent. Do you guys have flying cars? Great first question right out of the, the, the gate. That pause earlier was just because I was thinking about, but you are not a she. Does that either mean... Do, that could mean one of two things, in in my opinion. One, she likes him. Simple as that. Or two, Nana, she's special, and it has something to do with him that she wants to change. And honestly, both of those seem likely. So... I'm just gonna continue. But yeah, great first question right out of the gate, Nana, she. You got your priorities straight. In development, but their future is uncertain. Is Seven Piece over yet? <laughs> Probably not. It's entered a new chapter. Yep. <laughs> What's the current arc of, of One Piece right now? Wano Country, right? I'm not there yet. I'm still... I'm still at Marineford, and I stopped watching right in the middle of it. Like, not because I got bored or anything, just because I do that sometimes when watching anime. There will be months where I just don't watch anime. Um, and I picked a great place to stop. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I figured it's, it's, One Piece is never ending. Apparently the, apparently Oda says he wants to end it in the next, like, five or ten years or something, but that's still a lot. Is there anyone you like there? Private. Hmm. Oh, is the Master Program still operating as normal in the future? The Master Program. Hmm? First things first, yes, the Master Program exists in the future. But it went into operation one year ago. Or, from this perspective, it will seven years from now. Mm. Wait, so there isn't supposed to be a Master Program right now? Yes, and the one who made the Master Program is not Mikado. Mm. <laughs> well, that's not quite it. The Master Program in the future was developed working in tandem with the government, so it all being by one person here is different. Then isn't Mikado super suspicious? That's what that means, yes. Is Mikado also a time traveler, then? That's what I'm getting from that. That, like, he helped develop it in the future and then brought it back here to implement it or something to that effect? <sighs> Sure, he's mysterious, and there's a lot we don't know, and he has clear mastermindish looks and background, but you can't judge a book by its cover. It doesn't sound like you're judging his... cover. But honestly, as far as unclear information, you'd be pretty suspicious too, Masane-chan. That's true. I could always be lying. Not many would believe me at present. I think I believe her at this point. <laughs> I believe you. Because you've been helping out all the time. I can tell you're a good person without even having to read your mind. Nanashi. 
And I feel like you're really helpful to me in the future, too. No, it's me who's always being helped. Thus, I at least want to do something about this incident. Don't strain yourself too much, okay? I'll be fine. Back on topic. It's time to find more friends. I guess Break Passage is another place to go? Break Passage? Where Akitaka lives, wasn't it? Right. Seems like kind of an unruly place, though. You think it'll be okay? It is worrying. If we're in danger, I'll hand over the money and run, okay? I would rethink that course of action. At any rate, let's pay it a visit. If it's too dangerous, we'll try elsewhere. Breaking, or braving the lion's den. Hmm. Th this, this must be Mikado in the art here. Just because similar hair and the writing on his body. It might not be, though. It might be someone else. Achievement unlocked. Breaking the lion's den. Begin chapter three. All right, let's go. And... Ooh. What's this depicting? Like these, I was just... Just content to accept them as, like, glyphs. But this one looks like something. And there's, like, a flower petal there in the background, but... Oh, hello. Um, well, let's enter here first and see. Looks like a music venue, judging by the, the drums, so I guess we'll find, like, a musician in there at some point. Who are you? Hello! Eh? Oh, uh, yo. What are you doing there? Oh, just getting some fresh air, dude. Taking a little rest and stuff. Rest? Uh, hello? Hey, about time to get back to it! Is Aki up? <laughs> just eyes open! Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, dude, I gotta go. Into the studio here? Are you playing music? Yeah, Aki, Aaron, and me play. Kinda out of standstill for now, though. Just cause we lost our pick. Hey, don't think of it like just a pick. It's like, you know, a limited special edition. Can't get any more like it. A pick, you say? Akitaka was looking for one, is that it? Oh, is Akitaka Aki? Oh, you do dudes friends with Aki? That's the plan. Um, okay. Well, anyway, come on in then. More peeps will help Aki wake up. <laughs> well, really? Here goes. Just to confirm in advance, you won't say mug us, will you? Eh? Um, Aaron, what's a mug? Ain't that like your face? Or wait, I think it was a cup. Oh, if you want to stuff your face and have a drink with it, I recommend the Tonkatsu Burger at WAC Burger. Why is it spelled with an E? Yes, thank you very much. Nanashi, let's go with these two. I wonder if they have Ebikatsu Burgers. Save it for later, please. Got it! Well, I'm not going in right away because I got more people I want to meet. Uh, in theory. <laughs> in order for me to meet people, there must be people. But, um... This place seems pretty desolate other than the faceless silhouette NPCs. So, uh... Ah, someone! Hello! 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 Uh, uh, yes, good morning. Uh, um, you're not the manager. Who are you? I'm Nanashi. And you? Ah, uh, uh, I'm Hmm? Uh, me. Yuto Oi. A reporter. What's this place? Uh, an office for the newspaper company I work for. N not much work to do here, though. I couldn't bring in any good articles or info, so I was tossed here. But the noise in this town? Just terrible. Mm. The crime rate seemed pretty bad, too. Oh. Yeah, that. I've had at least uh, six odd things stolen, or six odd things stolen from me. Kind of worrying. I might be a thief too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just kidding. You look like you need sleep, so get a good rest. Ah, uh, yes. Thanks. Good night. I'm talking to you again, though. 
Oh, tell me if you know any good information. I really want to get scoops. Okay. Is that the only person we have to talk to here? Oh, another thing here. <laughs> Who are you? I... Does that say I am Pen? Oh, okay. Let's just travel and then travel immediately back to get all the way back to the right of the screen super quick. There we go. Wow. It's a very... Only one person to talk to other than the, the main draw, huh? That's unique. I can only take that as meaning that... Everyone in this town is going to be somewhat important to the storyline Chapter 3 is uh, going to be telling. Anyway. Uh, uh, talk to Asu, not me. I'm shy, dude. Okay. Is Aki awake? Nope, still snoozing. Ah, oh, man, what? After he got his eyes open? With Aki, he can sleep even with his eyes open. <laughs> then I'll wake him up. Aki doesn't wake up if you just shake him, dude. You punch him, he'll punch back in his sleep. Mm. Wow, that's so skillful. It's okay, I'll interfere with his brain waves. Brain... what? Even I'm not quite understanding. What does this entail, exactly? Oh, I was just thinking that since I could read minds, maybe I could do the opposite thing, too. I just haven't tried it out yet. You're sounding like a hacker yourself. Mm. No way! I definitely can't control people. The most I can do is, like... Changing, I want rice to, I want bread. So it's n uh, not so much brainwave, in brainwave interference, but rather insertion of information. Yeah, I'm not overriding any data. I'll just wedge something in the gaps of his memories. <laughs> if someone's awake, or especially if they're watching me, I'd need to find just the right chance to insert info. But Aki Talk is asleep, so I should be fine. Please don't insert anything weird. Really doubting me, huh? Anyway, let's give this a try. I'm guessing this is going to be something we're going to start having to do in conversations then, inserting our own information. <laughs> well, he really woke up. Mm. Akitaka, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Man, I was like, attacked by a big ass bear. <laughs> then it was a success! What was? Mm. You fell asleep again, Aki. You were asleep just before that, too. Well, because I couldn't find it. I'm thinking maybe you should give it up, Asu. What? But I really liked that pick. You can still play with your fingers. Mm. Are these guys your friends, Akitaka? Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you guys introduce yourselves. Yourselves. Uh, hey. I'm Henry. I play drums, dude. I'm Asto! I'm, uh, let's see. I'm on bass! Mm. Drum and bass. And Akitaka's keyboard. Is there no guitar? Mm. Yo, I can't do string instruments. <laughs> Anything with more than five strings is too much. Hurts my fingers. Doesn't beat the real thing. But keyboard's good enough if you change the sound. <laughs> yeah, you can do all kinds of distortion, distortion stuff these days. But that aside, you never found the pick? Yeah, well, I don't use it. It's just to enjoy, you know. It's just to enjoy, you know. But it's like a good luck charm. Helps my motivation. Oh. You really like Larikuma, huh, Asu? But, like, we couldn't do any practice like this. Wasn't even in Coco Alley. Can't you remember anything clearer? Mm -hmm. Took a rest in the garden in Coco Alley. Then it was gone by the time I got back here. So I thought I dropped it in that garden. We heard about a thief earlier. Could that be it? Maybe somebody came and picked it up before you went looking, Aki? Oh! Got a point there. It's limited edition and Laticuma's popular. I don't know anyone but you who's so into Laticuma. But if someone took it, yeah, I guess we won't find it. Oh, you there. Um, I'm Nanashi. This is Masane-chan. Right, Nanashi. You know anything about my pick, Nanashi? Mm. I know Akitaka was looking for it, but... Have you taken a look around here, too? Here, huh? I was thinking it had to be in Coco Alley, but... <laughs> okay, I'll help you look. <laughs> Whoa! You're helping a stranger like me? You're a super good dude, dude. 
Ha, <laughs> no way. We've got an incident-solving pro right here. Namely, Masana-chan. Passing it on to me, I see. But without clues, I have nothing to pursue. Mm. If we had a dog or something, you could have it track the smell. Oh, that sounds good. Let's find a dog, yeah. Dog searching it is! Uh. The incoherency of Akitaka and his friends is throwing Misano-chan off. Okay, yeah, we'll search for a dog. I'm pretty good at finding animals. Alright, nice. I'll go with you. You guys stay in practice. Feels kind of bad leaving it all to you, Aki. <laughs> it's fine. I got a good rest. And your buds. Aw, Aki! Such wondrous friendship. Well then, let us go. Do we know anyone we can ask for info? Um, my big sis likes animals. She might know. Betting she's at WAC Burger. So the burger shop next door. We'll head there. Yep. Okay. Alright, well, let's go. I guess we're just gonna be going basically down the street asking people. Yo! Alright. This is a great freaking start for him, huh? Hey, Chubby, immediately. Like, I guess she's eating a lot, but she, she has quite the figure. So... She's very thin. Hey, Chubby. What are you saying that for, stupid Aki? I'm gonna tell Ryu. Oh, she's crying. I'm gonna tell Ryu. Don't I tell you not to talk with your mouth full? I was gonna tell Ryu about that. So what? Just came to insult me? <laughs> Hello, I'm Nanoshi. I have some things to ask. But first of all, what's your name, miss? Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm Azusa. Mm. Eating again. You're gonna put on the pounds. Let her eat, dude. Who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. Can't help things being delicious. It's good for girls to have a little chubbiness. It helps their chest, too. Nanashi. <laughs> like, I can't say anything. I did comment on that she has a, like an hourglass figure it's like two seconds ago but he immediately just goes talking about her freaking boobs <laughs> wow that was strong you deserved that Oz's tackles got weight behind him yeah what the heck leave if you're gonna be like that stop there you two I'd like to ask you not to tease a lady I apologize we're looking for a dog at the moment. Are there any dogs around here? A dog? Hmm. Mm, oh, I might have seen one. It looked all cotton candy-like and tasty. You didn't eat it, surely. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat a doggy. Jeez. But it was a few days ago, so I don't know where it is now. Don't worry, it's helpful enough. Whereabouts did you see it? Um, around the back street? Oh, where Big Bro Ryu is. Mm. You have even more siblings? Yeah, there's six of us. Now that's a big family. Is everyone in this district we talk to other than the two band members gonna be part of their family? Or... It's not likely it stayed in the same place, but perhaps we could ask this Ryu. Isn't the back street, like, a really dangerous place? Mm -hmm. Is it? Ryu's there, so should be fine. He's the boss, too. Mm -hmm. Boss? I see, then maybe it's okay. Well, let's go there. Where's this back street? Leave here, go straight, and then turn... Uh, well, you should figure it out. Understood. Thank you, Azusa. However, hamburgers alone is not a nutritious diet, so please eat some vegetables as well. Mm. Burger got veggies. Not enough, I'm afraid. Well, excuse us. That, that is a fair comment, just because eating just fast food is not good for you. I guess burgers don't have to be fast food, but this is WAC Burger, so I'm pretty sure it's fast food. But, like, just saying stop eating so much? What the heck? Don't be rude. Um, it can't be this. It's probably... 
if I had to guess, it's probably this entrance here that led to the back streets, yes? Sure is. Hey, we ain't seen you around here before. Who gave you permission to be here, huh? Um... If you're here to assassinate the boss, you're not getting off easy. <laughs> assassinate? Yo, they're with me. Is Big Ryu here? Oh, they're yours, Aki? Should have said that. Hey, is the leader awake? Maybe. If he's sleeping and you wake him up, expect a broken bone or two. Yeah, I know how it goes. I'll go. Right, be careful. Uh... Is he that bad at waking up? Yeah, all of us are like that. We're all tough guys, and he's the oldest. I don't think him being the eldest son has anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. You think so? Oh, he's there. Big Ryu! Um, you're kicking him? Uh... Whoa, watch it! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> hmm? Ah, hey, it's Akibo! And some guys behind you. I'm not a she. And you're Akitaka's brother? Yeah, I'm Ryuri. Ryuri Kujo. Forgive us, Ryuri. I am Misane. We heard from Azusa that you saw a dog here. Would you know anything about it? Dog? Oh yeah, there was something with that girl. A girl? Dog and girl. Yeah, there was this young chick and a poofy dog. Sent him away since it was dangerous, though. Don't know where they went after that. Dangerous how? There's some weird game going around. Aki, you heard of One Punch Dead? Hmm? Yeah, a buddy told me about that. Whoever punches first wins or something. That's it. Lots of guys around here are doing it. It's bad news. No matter your real strength, your punches get strong enough to knock a guy out. Interesting. Uh... That does sound really dangerous, but how does that happen exactly? I think it was something like using an app. I'm staying out of it myself. Don't care for it for a lot of reasons. An app? I wonder if it's an illegal app. Regulations on that sort of thing are strict, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. You know a lot about that stuff? Well, I think I can help anyway. <laughs> Sounds good. Catch him for me if you can. And let me know if you see any guys using it. What are you gonna do? I'll punch him first. Th that won't solve anything. It's just rude to knock out an opponent without it being your own strength. It's disgusting. Honor among warriors, I guess. The fighting is rude in the first place. But I guess it has etiquette anyway. Uh. Huh? <laughs> yes, it absolutely does. Well, you take care of that. I'm gonna sleep. Good night. We didn't get to ask anything about the dog. Dog? That brown one? Looked like a Pomeranian. Wasn't it a Shiba? Had the curly tail. Wrong! Hello? Does the dog talk? Oh, this was the dog that we saw in Chapter 2, isn't it? You got it wrong, you lot! It's a dog. Uh, hi! I'm Nanashi. Are you a dog? I'm Potete. It's a palm. It's a Shiba. I'm both! <laughs> oh, a hybrid. It's called a mixed breed! Hup. <clears throat> hey, caught a dog. I have some ropes. Hold it down for me, please. Excuse me? Wow, such experienced movement. What the? Okay, let's get back to Asu. Here we go. Oh, and thank you very much, guys. Hey, wait. Let's talk this out. Don't pull me. That hurts. Ow. Be gentle. Please treat me gentle like. <laughs> okay. Um... I think we'll return to Asu in the next one, though. We've been going for a little bit. I think this is a good stopping point. So, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.